It's okay. It's not inconveniencing me. Hey, hey, time for the studio update. Uh, first, we need to look at something Rin has made. Tell us all about it. It is a helicopter out of a Valkyrie. Okay. I uh, basically, I uh, actually can't take credit for thinking up the idea. I saw it on Bell of Lost Souls. Right. They made an orc one. I was like, I'm making an Imperial right. one. Right. For your awesome. rusty Imperial Guard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're so, on an uh, oxidized planet. Mm -hmm. So it's a vendetta, right? Yeah, I'm going to invent it. It's got all the right, right weaponry. They're all twin linked. That's great. Um, does the chopper thing spin? Yes, it does. <laughs> that That's all that matters. Okay, yeah. I think we're done here. Doors no, open. Seriously. This is magnetized, so that's open. Okay, now tell us about the um, back rotor things. There's oh, a yeah. name for those. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the rotors, I made those out Stabilizers? of. Stabilizers? Okay, you made them out of what? Made them out amazing. of a uh, 40 mil base. Yeah, that you actually hauled it. it out. Yeah, I actually hauled the I thing out. I put a plastic card. And then I uh, made the plastic card. Bro okay, great. Yes, I'm very happy with it. It's not completely painted yet, so. Uh, okay, you're still working on it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But we'll get pictures once it's completely that's, painted. That's, that's real nice. Okay, and uh, if Rin didn't have enough fur on his face, we have James <laughs> here. All right, tell us about your thing that you were doing. All right, we had a client. That These are awesome. Thank you. Client requested some uh, custom fell bats for their right. vampire counts army. Right. What we did is we took the demonets of Slanesh, their bodies yeah. and heads, and put uh, the new Tyranid gargoyle wings on them. Mm -hmm. um, now you have to reshape the wings where they connect to the body. Well, most of them will kind of fit right on. Okay. They'll glue right up to the shoulders. For the most part, some of them have to have some trimming work. Mm -hmm. uh, gluing them on was a pain. Plastic glue just didn't cut it. I had to use super right. glue too to, to and reinforce plastic. it. Yes, and the plastic glue together. Okay. Um, you got some brass rod there. You got some brass rod for the pinning. The wings are really awesome. These are really cool. Oh, if they're you look, perfect. They're proportioned so nicely, and they're spiky. Where each one of the flaps are in between each of the, the tines, uh -huh. if you hold your thumb right at the knuckle, you can okay. bend the entire thing without really heating it up and without the risk of breaking it as oh, long as you great. don't bend it too far. That's so great. you can make your custom wings without And I, I noticed you have them in all sorts of poses, like they're diving, they're taking off, they're yes. banking. There's 20 That's different great. ones and no two are alike. That is really, really, really great. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Hey, th thanks a lot, James. And I'd also like to point out that um, we are now doing assembly-only projects. So if you love to paint, but you despise putting your stuff together, there's a link uh, nearby here that will take you to a blog post where I explain in a little more detail uh, how that works. So uh, let's take a look around the studio. Here's the leftovers from the game in which I got hideously beaten by the Chaos Orc Alliance, it was really bad. So it's a good thing that I took, um, I just used proxies just to see if this one list would work. And the answer is it doesn't work because I was playing Lictors as a uh, pod of three could split up and go to separate places. Uh, but that was the last edition, they don't do that anymore. Which unfortunately, now that Lictors are in elites, that means they're, there's really nothing to be said about them. I, I wouldn't take them. Take a death leaper. Uh, th there's, there's your disruption. Uh, what else is there to see? No. No, we've seen that. Uh, this is new. Um, this is an um, Imperial Bastion. Oh, I'm going to be working on a starport, which I think may be the best terrain that I've ever made if it turns out how I'm thinking it's going to turn out. What are you working on, Big Stud? Uh, this uh, Salamander dude. Vulcan Heston. Oh, yeah. I love this. Look at this. Snowing outside. Indeed. And I'm also Hawaiian working shirt. on this conversion. Oh, oh boy. I took okay. a Chaos Lord and I kind of tweaked him a little bit to make yeah. this Guile conversion <laughs> for my Imperial Guard army. Okay, great. <laughs> I think the flat top worked pretty good. Okay. Is but that a hard? Thing? Oh, it was green stuff and it was really hard. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. And uh, what are you working on, Stallion? Um, oh, we want to see your dreadnought. Never mind all that. Right. <laughs> this is uh, for your The Forgotten. Army, yeah. Um, which is uh, abandoned space marines. Yeah, they've been crashed like and abandoned and just miserable for a long time. And it's so, very battle tech. Yeah, very battle tech. That's what I was going for. Um, that's and, great. Uh, that's your dreadnought. That's my dreadnought. So I'm going to do... Twin link, last cannon, and missile launch. Three I figure, you know, the best chance I have is to kill his dreadnoughts or... 
Whatever. So you, you didn't have enough anti tank in your army. I don't have anti tank, so I figure if I can pound them at range long enough, then yeah. it buys me some time to That's great. get some punch in. That's great. So, anyway. All right, awesome. Yeah. And uh, these are Imperial Fists. Yep, Imperial Fists. Those are looking really good. Yellow is a tough one, but I think you're pulling it off very nicely. Yeah, we'll get some stills good. of that later. And a leather. Hey, Watch hey, out! Hey, blue table fence. So you're working on an expansion of an Ice Nids army. Yep. Of course, you've made a new Ice Nid. Yes, I made Arctic Ice Nids. Okay. Have to check it out on the web. They look good. Awesome. I've already done a link to those on the blog yep. as an check official paint scheme. Well, that's great. And wait, wait. So this is a uh, colored plexiglass. It's, it is. Plexiglass that you've colored, right? With plastic sheets that make ice yep, and on the bases. What that's what it'll look like in the end. I gotta tell you, that's really, that's that's really great. I can't wait to see them when they're done. Hey, thanks a lot, see ya, Heather. Man. Well, uh, that's about all I got to say. So hope you enjoyed and got your inspiration for the day. <laughs>